All right, what is up YouTube? I'm for you. I'm gonna be profiling what went five and three, starting five and zero, oh, and getting 33 plays at a regional. That top 32 get their invite. Spicy fucking day over here. So, so this is the hybrid that was concocted by St. Maddox. Um, he was testing a lot of ratios with this over the past week. Um, started 5-0. Oh, uh, let's see here. I know we played against some really fucking weird-ass matches today. Alright, so. Round 1, we played against... Uh, Kaiju Invoked, which the guy showed up with no sleeves. Which really caught me off guard. Round 2 was Dino. He also had a ghost dash, no sleeve. Oh yeah, he had a ghost ash with no sleeve. Um, th round three, we beat True Draco Turbo, which the deck is actually scary. Um, round four was Yasinju Kaiju. Round five was 60 Carpelia, which diagram Balbaboon is the nuts. Uh, round six was a 60 card version of this, which my opponent was just better than me. Five and two is the asshole sitting across from me, uh, who beat me in the dice roll and stacked my deck and gave me the worst hand ever. <laughs> Okay, because it does not stack. And then uh, round three, or round eight, I played against Dinosaurs, who opened up Maxi game three. Very well deserved victory to him. So, yeah, guys, uh, please check out No Limit Gaming, NLGTCG.com. Uh, without them, well, hell, we wouldn't have a lot of the good stuff we have on this channel. So, without further ado, the deck. Uh, two Masterpiece. Do not play three in the hybrid. Uh, three will punish you very hard. Uh, being able to make this guy immune to two out of three aspects. Um, it's actually very insane depending on the matchup. This card single-handedly blows up Paleo. You will have no problem uh, whatsoever handling things. Also, this is Big or big Daddy Kaiju target number one. Uh, they will always go after this guy if there's a Dryden on the board. So, uh, just to resolve their slumber. So, uh, keep that in mind. Two Dynamite. Uh, this card was really good for getting this good card from the deck, which can revive this guy. And just make him a 2950 wall. But outside of that, uh, Dynamite did what he needed to do. Uh, you can play one Dynamite, play two, one. But uh, for the current build, with two targets for this guy, definitely wasn't bad. You would just resolve a spell, tribute summon him, and then proceed to get the trap card to feed for him for two bops on the next turn. Uh, that actually came up. So, the Zoo Engine. Uh, of course, two Rap here, two Whip Tail, one Ram Ram. Uh, one big diagram target. Uh, we had one issues with only one of these, um, so we upped it to two, and it seemed to be rewarding, of course, good old rats. And then next up, uh, Terratop Engine. Uh, this card engine is insane uh, when you also have Balbaboon in your deck. So unless you're opening up multiples of these, uh, this card will punish you, but if you open up uh, this diagram and Terratop, uh, you're pretty much going to be winning that game uh, if you're going first. That's how I beat 60 card Paleo. Um, I definitely still feel bad about that game. One and three just having the absolute nuts. Um, but yeah, uh, not being able to really fix this if you draw multiples, that's that's the one sad thing about Bababoon. I, I like it as a card, however, if you hard draw multiple copies, your life just kind of sucks. Uh, one black sheep, no explanation for the combo. Uh, hand traps, one uh, maxi. Two Crow, uh, just, just for Norton. I didn't really want to fuck with him um, when they would start the combo. Uh, this is our immediate punishment to that. That way we don't have to really worry about it. And then he your easy stunts. Uh, three Ghost Dash. Every time, every time you draw this, uh, this card blows you the fuck out. Right, Devin? This is a very good card. Oh, yeah. Uh, you won't know how many times I Ghost Dashed Obi Raptor on turn one and watch the dinosaur player proceed to end their turn. Did you do that, Devin? Yeah, a lot. So, so much. They seem to be drawing lockbirds, though. All right, next up, spells. Triple win con, double win con. <laughs> Not much else to really say. Uh, triple diagram, being able to go get masterpiece after you do your zoo combo is pretty fucking good, I heard. Two terraforming, four said win cons. Uh, spells, two Super Ruju, one Disciple. This card's fucking ass. Fucking hate it. Just initials the extra tribute summons. Uh, but being able to do this off of this is pretty good. 
So I don't know, I'm just indifferent about this. This is just a dead card. Hard draw it. Um, one of Instant Fusion, Tanky. So we had two floating slots for this particular deck. Uh, we said fuck it, we played the one Tanky and the one Instant Fusion. Um, if you draw them, um, they'll get you there. If not, this typically gets sided out. This is just a combo extender at this point. And then our two traps. No, we're not playing the, the shitty half attack one. I don't like that card. Um, however, having these, being able to pop something, and be able to generally revive said big guy. Hey, you can't shoot after Tribute Summon, or has to be Tribute Summon, but uh, being able to just recur walls and pop monsters in the opponent's turn is really good. So that's the main uh, for the most part. Everything worked out really well. Uh, extra deck, uh, one Norton, no explanation to him. Invoker, Totem Bird, uh, one little Borbo, one Hammer of the Kong, one Laika, two Tiger, two Borbo, two Dryden, two Emerald, and one Samurai. Looks exactly like your pure extra deck. Uh, though this could be coming out for a Dweller soon. Um, though there really wasn't a scenario where we would make Samurai. It was just kind of there um, for that. So standard extra. Uh, side deck here. One Gamma Seal. One Dogron, one Kuma Mungus. Uh, didn't want to play Jukikuri Z because we didn't want to have something really big if we had to give it to the opponent. Um, just standard targets here. And then, of course, one, two Slumbers to go with that mighty fine Kaiju package. Next up, uh, one Raigeki. Uh, just additional board wipes. Uh, running into a few problems, um, not being able to actively handle second. Probably should have mained this, but almost got sighted in every game. My body and active out to board wipes. Um, sighted this in a lot, never drew it. Uh, spell removal, three cosmic cyclones, amazing. Wouldn't want to play without them. Uh, traps, one warning, massive blowout. Uh, three D barriers, uh, drew this card twice. Um, and this card's bad. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. I mean, like, so if you side this in and you have a pretty suboptimal turn, like if your opponent stuns you, okay, so this stuns your opponent. If they have another stun and you don't have an out to it, then you just get punished for it. And it's really sad because this card is really good. Mm -hmm. But in the scenario of, you know, playing in 60 cards, you know, I had this, but, you know, he had the max C off the retaliator for the next turn. So this card didn't do what it needed to do. And last but not least, uh, one in a nightmare. This card's spectacular. But as for the rest of the deck, um, I don't know. I'm not sure what we're going to change. I'm not sure what else we want to do with it. Um, that's up for debate, um, but we'll fucking figure it out. That's all I know. But yeah, guys, uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me you guys think. Uh, hybrid performed better than I thought it would, to be honest with you guys. But, I don't know. It needs work. But going into week one, I definitely think that Masterpiece was essentially a really good call. See so, you yeah, guys. Check out Nolima Gaming at LGTCG.com. And, well, I'm out, guys. Peace. That's not all, folks. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Please check out my Cardfight Vanguard channel, VanCole40. You guys will get an insight in our playtesting sessions. And please check out the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. That way you guys can follow the House of Champions and MCOL40 Interactions. Please check out MCOL Games for all of your guys' trading card game needs. And if you guys enjoyed this content, please check out my Patreon in the description. Every bit helps to the creation of these videos. One step at a time and improvement, and that's the goal of this channel. Alright guys, have a good time, and thanks for watching.